Yehova Malak Olamolamad Yehova Malak Yami Rakes The Megalogai of Yahweh Lelion Elohim is always alive and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, or training in righteousness, that the man of Lord God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself a prudent to Lord God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth, or very accurately handling this very great, unique, infallible, and inherent great word of truth. Glory be to my Yahweh Siddhkanu, to the highest, and peace be unto the mankind on this earth. To those who believe in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, by faith alone in Christ alone, and great goodness and goodwill towards them, who love to walk breath by breath in the cherishing and in the nurturing of the indwelling mentoring ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. One more day being renewed in our lives to the praise of His glory in order to understand that all the days of our life we need to serve the Lord of our God in spirit and in biblical truth. Rather manipulating the things of the word of Christ it is indeed demanded by the bona fide gift given by Lord God, the Holy Spirit, at the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone. The gift of the pastor teacher, which is to nothing but to learn the virginal languages of the scriptures through proper exegesis. And come by can teach the words, the words of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, which are penned and kept for us to dig in the virginal languages of the scriptures. To this extent, dear brethren, many people who do not love to come back for exegesis, but rather who are making up their lives in order, in order to understand that they are well established by thinking that God has blessed them in many other ways on this earth. But at the end, when they come back to be at the judgment seat of Christ, it would be for them the way what the word has been recorded for us in Proverbs 16, 18, Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. So here we look for us that there will be a fracture for your majesty in your face because you have stumbled or made up in your spirit exaltation for your faces. So the word says in the Hebrew, in the faces of you there is a fracture in your majesty. At the same time, in the faces of you there is a stumbling or staggering because of your exaltation in your spirit. That's what today many people are. And they're not able to understand that though they have been given this great bona fide work in each and every believer to make them to become disciples from there on to grow up as grammatias, when they fail to be so, these people, they have really not understood the true purpose, the true willing of God the Father. So we find the simple translation, pride goeth before destruction. But here we find in the faces of you, there is a fracture in your majesty. And in the faces of you, because of your exaltation, there is the pomp of you which has been destroyed. And that's what he meant to say for us. In the faces of you, there is a stumbling because of your exaltation in your spirit. So, dear brethren, we need to understand, if we don't come back to analyze the word of the Lord of God in the original language of the scriptures, then it's as good as your pride on this earth. Because you say, you have been such kind of a great minister for so many years, you have been doing your ministry for so many days, and so many people, or lakhs of people are coming and joining your ministry, and they're really been happy. But, dear brethren, before your destruction or your majesty there is a fracture on this earth in your face and at the same time 
when you go back to be in the presence of God the Father, because of your exaltation in your spirit, there is a staggering in the faces of you when you look and you will be shocked to look what are your results by not making them to become the New Testament grammatias as the word of the Lord of our God records for us. Every scribe, and this is most important for us, every scribe in, in Matthew chapter 13 in verse number 52, we read this, every scribe who has been given an instruction, and this is what the word of the Lord of our God teaches to us, every scribe, and therefore dear brethren, this word scribe, what we were, what they were, and what they are, we shall look them in the light of the word of the Lord of our God. And if we still harden up our hearts and not do the things which Lord God the Father has called us to do on this earth, then it is a very sad part in comparison to Jeremiah 44, 27, when he says, when I become against you, you will be consumed by the famine, by the pestilence, by each and everything, but you will not have the peace of the Lord God to rule in you, because you have not walked according to my will, but rather your pride and your exaltation walked in your spirit. So dear brethren, let's humble ourselves. Humility is most needed for us. Without humility, you cannot learn the word of the Lord of our God. Thus humility has been needed to great extent for us to know that this wisdom has been given for us to learn and to understand, because in the same book of Proverbs chapter 16 in the very word in the very next verse in verse number white 19 we have this expression called as to be as a humility so he says for us in it is good to be always humility in your spirit not in your soul why because the new one what Lord God the Father has given for us at the moment of salvation by faith alone in Christ alone when we become trichotomous from dichotomy it is the spirit therefore Lord God the Holy Spirit beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high Lord of our God thus this spirit what has been given for us called as human spirit is always called to be in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit therefore we need to be humility or humble that's what the simple word meant to say humility Humility is nothing but always ready to learn the word of the Lord of a God, not having any pride. That's what many people don't understand, what this word humility is all about. When you have been too high in your lofty knowledge, yet you would count yourself to say, I do not know anything because it is the will of God the Father to teach me his standards and I am humble enough to learn more. Humility, to teach you one simple example, we can learn from the life of Apostle Paul who says though he is the chiefest he calls he is the chiefest of all the sinners because one third part of the scriptures have been written by him and the divine things given to him are so great and unique he did not even go back to say that he is so much of proud but rather he says I besotted Lord God to give me to remove the throne but he has said my grace is sufficient for you so it meant to say the things pertaining to humility is that we have to be always available to be on a lower side but not to be pride that's what the people they are the pride of the people where these people they are thinking enough that they are humble but no humility demands to be to be absolutely humble but not proud proud ones will not correct proud ones will not come to teach the word of the lord of a god in proper exegesis proud one will not teach what is the right truth proud ones will never learn though the word of the lord god the holy spirit which has been given for us in the original language of the scriptures and that's the bona fide duty of every pastor teacher to learn them and to exegete them either through interlinear at least then the proud ones will say no we will not learn but the humility one will say yes lord we are subjected for you and we learn and we do the things that are for us for you to do and that's what humility is therefore he says for us in the same verse in verse number 19 of proverbs chapter 16 that good though agreeable it is to be humility in your spirit because with the humble ones the one who are into the point of depression or affliction we use the word twice the first time it has been used for depressed minds the second time it has been used again for ani the numbers have been changed for the first time when it has been used for humble ones here we find only humble and with the lowly but here it has been used humble for first thing ani that is 6035 code which are depressed in minds and 
why these people are depressed because much has been given for us and much has been expected from us but we are not producing much from us and the second one what we call as ani it is 6041 it is nothing but for us afflicted ones who are being into such mannerism of afflicted nature because the humility of the word of the lord of a god is been there with them to know what is agreeable what is with the great standards that what lord god the father requires from us therefore he teaches for us the people who are depressed in minds the people who are afflicted in minds they will be humble enough because for the work of the lord our god wherewith they should come to do the things which are agreeable in the sight of bible doctrine therefore he says for us good the humble ones agreeable tobe that is pleasant that is in the lord's sight which is very true and correct he says the tobe the agreeable the pleasant ones and he goes on to teach for us the humble ones the humiliated ones why because these are depressed in mind these are afflicted in mind for the purpose of honoring lord's word for the purpose of learning the word of the lord of a god and this humiliation for the this humility not humiliation this humility or the lowliness of them is from their spirit and then he goes on to give for us the things pertaining to rather than you go and divide your spoil with the proud therefore he says for us to share your plunder with the people who are proud and arrogant majestic ones therefore our teachings anyone who is there who is able to become the disciple of the word of the lord of a god it is for them it is not for those proud and arrogant ones who think they know better who think they can do better things we are not here to prove oneself or the other to say that we are proud or we are high and we are better we are here to teach for you we have come here in a humbleness to teach for you the wisdom of the word of the lord of a god in the fellowship of lord god the holy spirit what is needed for you on this earth we are not teaching the things pertaining to which you could become pride enough and say we have achieved lot many things no not at all we have come here to teach to you where lord god the father looks upon the one who is contrite in spirit the one who is broken hearted and the one who is humble enough to take the word of the lord of a god therefore he says rather than spreading your great wealth or spo or making your division of great wealth among them that they are proud or majestic in themselves it is better for us to go back and do that which is good in the sight of those humble ones those who are readily available to learn the word of the lord of a god that's what it is many people do not understand this great principle of humility humility is nothing but to learn the word of the lord of a god with a ready mind thus dear brethren proving to be that we are humiliated ones it's better for us to use the privacy of our priesthood at every breath of our life purchase the time and not to become rebellious but rather understand the meaning what you have been called to be as a scribe or a grammar he has it also has a lot of significance for us to learn from that word grammatias what spiros zadiathas writes in his lexical aids of health for his comment on the note for this strong number double one double two and we shall read that after this prayer sanctify yourselves to look upon the great pale wonders of the word of the lord of a god in the privacy of the priesthood given to you there is nothing on this earth is more important for us because anything that is strange or anything that is a prostitute kind of a one anything that is not in accord with the fellowship of lord god the holy spirit they cannot approach the altar and when they are approaching the altar the only solution by god the father is to kill them put to death therefore yearly once even the high priest when he used to enter into the holy of the holies first he would give a confession for his sins that is first he would give sacrifice for his sins and then he would go back to the sins of israel yom koper the day of atonement and you know very well if the priest was not been holy or been true he would be put to death and with the rope of bells what has been tied to his lions they would pull him out because for that year the sins were not been forgiven and we know the way how they rejected sabbaths for which cause they paid and it's a very great history of israel when we learn how the people the things they standed out which the bible was calling them to do but they rejected it even in the same times we look dear brethren in the great extent of the knowledge of bible doctrine that they gave enough of warnings to them to come back and to do but even after the 
veil was been torn apart and they will look the ark of the covenant has been missing in the holy of the holies they came back once again before the veil could be torn out long back when the jeremiah siege would come they went along to keep a large stone and they would sprinkle blood upon them and they kept the people in such kind of a great darkness till though the veil was been torn in AD 30 the hardness of this people did not turn over they did not repent but in AD 70 ultimately the Jerusalem temple was been destructed and today we shall look the doom of the rock so dear brethren you need to understand how hardness is the heart of this mind they know that there is no ark of the covenant yet once in a year the high priest would go and do thinking that they have been doing the things pertaining to the time of Aaron and Moses the same thing what they continued till the way how though Christ our Lord our God died on the cross and the temple where was been torn into two parts they did not consider that and they really rejected it and they went along to do once again putting the veil the same rituals do you think Lord God the Father would wait yet in his grace for 40 years of the prophecy given by Isaiah fulfilling the gift of tongues glossolalia he taught them many things but yet they never learned in ultimately AD 70 by the Titus with his three legions of the Roman Emperor who came who destroyed ultimately the Jerusalem temple and that's what dear brethren when they could find some gold between stone and stone they wanted to take that gold and by mistake there was a lit into a fire and the entire thing by my Christ what he said there shall not be stone upon stone upon this great temple the prophecy being fulfilled over there there was no stone upon the stone and they broke along into the standards to take that gold between the stones and they completely destroyed this is what how the things went along we have all of history to learn when we look upon the destruction we see how great a wrath of the Lord of our God upon them those who debate, disobey the word of my Christ but in the church age he calls for us to be in the standards of grammatias we are not able to really look what is your history but we find one great painful verse for us in Jeremiah chapter 44 which pricks our heart therefore it says for us being humble enough knowing the word of the Lord of our God obey the truth walk in the truth and make that which things that align with the glory of Yahweh in, the, in Yahweh alone because dear brethren the things pertaining to the Bible doctrine what he has designed and kept to have fellowship with him through his word he certainly teaches to us that if we are without his word we are still practicing that which is vain and vague but we need to be in the word of the Lord of our God and practice those things what he has demanded and kept for us in eternity past and what does he demand to hear his commands and to obey and to do the things pertaining to his will but in Jeremiah 44 23 we read they have sinned chata they were off of the target what Lord God give them or gave them to perform they did not even listen to the voice they did not even come back to look what is the law the word of the Lord they did not even come back to look what are the prescriptions of Bible doctrine neither they learned from the testimonies of the word of truth that is the same fate for us today as well therefore dear brethren we need to be alert looking upon the time we need to be communicators of Bible doctrine looking upon the time we need to be the grammatias but why are we aren't so as the word of the Lord of our God demands for us the reasons are very very simple because we are arrogant and we are ignorant and we are above all not at all worried to do the things of God the Father to the praise of his glory though we have been called in this church church to be in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit and much has been given for us and much has been expected from us this people do not truly understand what is the privilege of this great and unique word of the Lord our God so dear brethren we shall learn these things but first let's sanctify ourselves to look upon the pale wonders of this word rather than becoming ourselves arrogant and becoming to call we have our rights to take and we shall come back and take like the way how, how the people sue a court case because they think what they're doing is right they are fighting for their rights but we have come here to serve the Lord and he said follow me not the people who go to think by manipulating the word of the Lord of a God fighting for their rights which is not there in the Bible for example like the Ravidas what we call reverence and doctorate has not been found in the Bible you fight for that and you manipulate the people's mind you brainwash them you are the people who are suing against Lord God you haven't come to follow my Christ to follow to follow him or to serve him so we have many things we shall learn after this prayer sanctify yourselves to look upon the pale wonders because 
anything that which is of an alien thing shall not enter before his presence if anything there is such kind of a thing put to death before lord god the father could put to death and give you no result at the judgment seat of christ because when you're not in the fellowship of lord god the holy spirit and try to read the word and try to learn the word and try to engage yourselves in the word of god you cannot because the word of the lord of god teaches to us very specifically they will be woody and stubble and they will be burnt off anything that has been done in the energy of the flesh that will be burnt off therefore you are not able to be concentrate you when we look upon the first epistle of john where we have so many things to learn he says those who have been born of christ they will not practice sin then how is it we are still making ourselves to think in the standards of lies rather than truth the lies is nothing but to manipulate our standards of our thinking be by becoming in the energy of flesh our work and thinking that we are doing really the work of the lord no way dear brother you cannot do that so what we shall do we shall have a word of prayer confess your sins since the word of the lord of god says god the father in heaven to be worshipped in spirit and in biblical truth through christ our lord of god in the fellowship of lord god the holy spirit thus naming our sins that is confession of our sins through the privacy of our priesthood in rebound of 1 john 1 9 let's do the work of the lord of a god to the highest so first we shall have a word of prayer and then back and continue what lord god the father in between to pastors recorded and kept for us on today's day to the praise of his glory infinitely divine holy father as we're going to share these things we pray that lord god the holy spirit could challenge and bless us by this message which are prepared and kept for us on today's date in christ's name we pray sovereign lord amen so dear brethren the things pertaining to doctrine what has been given for us that is most essential because in jeremiah chapter 44 we look the way how these people they rebelled and when they rebelled what was the status quo being called in christ lord god the father gives them such kind of a great warning if they would truly understand if they would have been repented today they wouldn't have been under the fifth cycle of discipline being terminated out but rather they would be the glorious people as he says in isaiah 49:3 my glory shall be beautified through you israelites because you are my servant he said for that cause he has given them a training program through the pastor teacher he made every believer tongue to become a sharp knife he called them for the purpose of training because he said these are the people that are hid in my hand and the people who come to train them up the pastor teachers in the present christendom in the past it was the levites and the priests in the malachi we read that and yet he has designed like a thundering bolt to purge them and after they have been purged they have been said to take back in concealment and to be preserved and who are these people concealment and preserved these are the pastor teachers to whom the revelation has been given by lord god and their duty is to daily come back and learn the word of the lord of a god kneeling down for the work of kathab kainiketesis what we are that is the writing men of new spiritual species at the same time you have to be kathab exegesis if you don't kneel down and write the word of the lord of a god and look them back in the original language of the scriptures you cannot do the work of purging out like a thundering bolt that's the problem with us in our pulpits many people do not understand this great work what has been given for us like a thundering bolt lord god the father has given to us this great burden but yet the pastor teachers are not able to do that work therefore the glory of god the father was not been glorified in the time of israelites the same thing what today we are also practicing we are also becoming not the bona fide gifted pastor teachers coming from the right hand of god the father to feed you with knowledge and with understanding or call you to become sheep rather than goats sheep are the people who are grown up who have the spiritual children goats are the people who are having no spiritual children but rather what they are having they are still kids and therefore the lord of god says this kids don't go to visit the people who are in prison this kids don't give the people who are sick the needed treatment or these people will not give the food and water for the people who are needed why because they themselves are having a log in their eyes and they're not worthy enough to remove the moat in the friend's eye or the brethren's eye because they haven't cleansed themselves by carrying the cross and following my christ in doing the will of god the father that's what it is that's what how the people they are today in the present christendom the people what we look because they are just thinking having a good name 
name and great name and some ministry having so many people to be subscribers having so many people to look upon their videotapes which is no way concerned with the truth in the original language of the scriptures they would love to talk to you the details of life like the way how they were in the past oratories they wanted to teach to you some rituals and moral lessons so they come in the past the same principle they follow in the present because never they will make up their life to teach to you sound Bible doctrine and do you know what the word says in Hebrews 5 12 these are still babes they cannot handle the righteous word of the Lord our God to the perfection to make you to become grammatias therefore how can the glory of Lord God that is just due to him could be paid by the church they cannot they are not they are not really worth enough to be called as a PT pastor teacher they love to have their cases to be sued by taking we are revved us now we are such and such now who cares does the title been given for you in the Bible and if it is not in the Bible then why you want to manipulate that reverend is my father in heaven that's it no one can be apart from him to be called as reverend and holy and you think you are reverend of what extent you are reverend the people love to make you to become reverend and doctorate so you have to so you have to keep the title for the things put in particular to baptist churches who cares what is not there in the bible who cares to keep doesn't you know if you add anything to the bible the plagues will be added if you remove anything from the bible the things pertaining to your tree of life in the future will be removed why do you want to make up yourselves that what the bible rejects and you will say, I will become a bishop, that's there in the Bible. That's not the gift. You want to become Episcopus, that's not the gift. The gift is only two, either evangelism or pastor teacher. That's the special ability and the powerful ability given for this ordinary believer on this earth who are male believers, particularly for the pastor teacher, who give their life as a temporary sacrifice and the power of that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, could come and teach to you the truth and expound to you to show forth that power in that, in that gift what he has given to us and how he is going to demonstrate whether that he has the gift or not. He is going to demonstrate that by teaching the word of the Lord of a God. That's the title, PT, pastor teacher. So that he can cause you to grow up to become grammatias. That's a very special ability, and that ability demands exegesis. That ability demands to know and learn the original language of the scriptures. That ability demands what is right and perfect in the sight of the Lord God not what the men are i have been telling for you if you love to impress men saying that you are a reverend or a doctorate it's as good as impressing to eat your own urine and excreta that's what even we look the passage when rab shaka comes to attack the israelites the sinner cherub goes to tell to them if you believe the words of your israelites you will definitely eat your own dung and drink your own urine and for the second time we read that in Ezekiel when the word of the Lord of God has come to him to cook his food with dung. The third time we look that word in Philippians 3 when Apostle Paul says, Before the excellency of that superior knowledge of my Christ, I count all things that were profitable to me as dung. And now, dear brethren, you love to impress men. We call you that you are eating your own tongue and urine being mixed together. Because the things why we are saying so is, dear brethren, that while here on this earth in my country, India, this part, when you come, whenever you visit or whenever you come back and cross check in your YouTube, look, the people love to eat rice and dal. We count rice to be semi solid. And that semi solid is nothing but your human excreta. And we count dal in whichever manner it may be, whether they may drink their four or five types of dishes what they prepare in South India with the with a, with a liquid kind of that pulses what they put in prepare that will be equivalent to your urine mix and eat it and you will come to know what is that to impress man to impress man you want to become reverend to impress man you want to become pope to impress man you want to become bishop to impress man you want to become elder but not the bona fide work of the pastor teacher to impress Lord God what a shameful thing it is for us how wretched and miserable we are more than those people of Israelite Though the completed count of scripture given to us, though at the moment of salvation those 40 things being given to you, you don't want to look into that, you don't want to learn into that, you don't want to look or understand what are you in Christ, but rather you just want to impress man. Do you know what? If you don't become sheep, 
or to have your own spiritual children in Christ or make them disciples. Your part is with the goats and the part of goats is with the fallen angels and with the prince of the fallen angels called a Satan. And what are you finding there in your life? You're finding at each and every nick of your corner people interested to eat their own tongue and urine being mixed together. If not, they would come back and do what the Bible says. If the Bible says in John 1.18, exegesis, then they have to come back for exegesis, but they don't go for exegesis. They want to go for eisegesis. They want to open up, but they want to close it. Exegesis is to open up. Eisegesis is to close up. Why? Because they don't have the knowledge in the original language of the scriptures. In simple terms, they are not using the bona fide gift given to them because to understand if Lord God, the Holy Spirit has given to us those scriptures wherewith we have to go back and learn them and teach according to those scriptures. And since they don't have the bona fide gift, they don't even worry what are the scriptures given to us in the original languages of the word of God. If the PT doesn't have the knowledge of the original language of the scriptures, just throw him out from your pulpits. It is not worthy for you, though he may have many other theological qualifications for him. He is not fit, he is not capable to teach the word of God for you. He is impotent, he is totally disqualified. Because the right bona fide gift of the pastor teacher who come from the right hand of Lord God the Father call for us for to learn that they have to be in the fellowship of Lord God the Holy Spirit and they have to go back and learn and exegete the word in original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic and for that cause Lord God the Father would train them up provided they are diligently seeking and searching to know the ways of Lord God uh, the way we read in Psalm 119 in verse number 12 Barak Lord we bless thee Lord we kneel down in the presence of Lord Lama that is what to make us Mantano plus Lidas disciples of thy statutes of thy demands of the nothing but chalk which is called for us in the Hebrew the prescription of God teach me what is thy prescription O Lord in his prescription for the pastor teacher study to show thyself up to the Lord God day and night rightly or accurately handling this great word of truth so how much we are really worried about to rightly divide the word of truth we are not at all concerned have you ever noted what are the prescriptions and the demands of Bible doctrine? Looking upon the time, you should be communicators of Bible doctrine. You should join as a disciple, grow up as grammatias. If this is what the Bible demands as a prescription, how many people are able to be standing there in such prescription? And if you don't meet the prescription of Lord God, your sicknesses will not be healed. You will go on to become one upon the another to impress your fellow men. You will go on to become the things which the Bible says, I hate them. And you go on to prove that the standards of lies are worth enough than the standards of truth. That is what the same thing they did during the time of Jeremiah 44. They went along to say, Jeremiah, we will not listen to your words. We will go back and do the Queen of Heaven, our works, because when we were doing such things to the Queen of Heaven, we were well off. We never found anything lacking for us. Today as well, people are interested to follow what the so-called XYZ men who don't have this bona fide gift need the preparation, who love to talk about sheer works of oratory, who love to talk about the detailed standards of morality, who never look and seek the importance of virtue. And these people, they are happy to bend before them and learn those things. And they say, when we went to such and such prayer meeting, we found this oil, we applied, we are healed. They are just kidding with your innocent faith. You may be thinking you have been healed by him, but no way, it is Lord God the Father who wants you to get back at least to know the truth. You have now entered, at least now search. The way how that prodigal son could get back to his mind till he could remember back the goodness of Lord God the Father. He says, search. While he's eating the pig's dust or the food of the pigs for the dust. He's getting in his mind, my servants over there, they had better food than this. 
Likewise, even you need to search the food that has been given to you in comparison to the word of the Lord of our God. Is it right or you're eating like the pig's food which is for the dust for you? You have to search. You have to remember the goodness of Lord God. If the PT did not teach you in the original language of the scriptures, he is feeding you with the fodder's dust of pig, which is a pig's food. If you will at least read for yourself in your translations, you will find there are many more things which are quite contrary to the church age practices, what they are practicing today in the present Christendom. They are violated completely and totally the divine standards what the word of the Lord of God demands because they think they are quite happy because they are serving their life to the Queen of Heaven. You will find if you at least make up your time to look and read. We are not asking you for anagonisco, which is to analyze and exegete that a pastor teacher can do for you. We are asking you at least go back and look and read what the Bible says concerning the tongues. It says they heard clearly in their own languages, but today what you talk, you say those are heavenly languages. No, heavenly languages are Hebrew and Greek and Aramaic. You have to look that to be very blunt enough. Because you don't change. We know very well you are thick-skinned and you are stiff-necked fools. You love to rebel. That's what the people were. That's what the people are. They don't want to be repenting at the first intent itself because they want to make up their life to be thick-skinned. They don't want to change. They will not learn. They don't have a heart to like to be in the sunlight like a wax to melt. They are like the way how we call mud and they get more harder, harder, harder. If it is a wax, it melts. But the mud, when it has been exposed to the same sunlight, it becomes more harder. And they don't want to look because they're happy. They're content to eat the pig's food. What the prodigal son ate. And they're not able to look back to their mind when they could go back and read the word and understand how much better food the servants were eating than him. How could you survive without knowing the word of the Lord of a God? How could you be healed without knowing the Lord of, a, of the word of Christ? You know, sickness comes because you reject the word of the Lord of a God. Keep it in your mind. And the word of the Lord of a God is the only health. For your flesh, the only marrow to your bones, the only eyesight which falls on your retina, it is the word of the Lord of a God. Read carefully Proverbs 3 and 4. How important it has been given for us in comparison to the riches of this world. It is the word of the Lord of a God which is far superior because the entire riches and pleasures being put together, they cannot even be equivalent to the dust of the scales when to be weighed. And you reject such word, you reject your life, and you think you're surviving. Do you know how it is to tell you in simple example the present word? You're not having your original backup in your battery. You are being backed up by your data banks or the things what you call as power that the box what they carry in their hand, power banks. You find that for us today, for the smartphones, the technology, they say this power bank is for 10,000 mAh or 20,000 mAh so that it supports them. But the original backup of the battery is gone. Likewise, your lives are. The original backup is the word of the Lord of a God. The data power bank, what you're taking is you are making from others to take your life to acquire strength. It's not built in strength. And this acquired strength cannot sustain you. The world is running today thinking that they can sustain on the acquired strength. But they cannot. They are not worthy enough. You have to have your own muzzle to be built up when you go to the gym. You cannot send another person and ask him to build so that your muscle can grow up here. No way. No chance. You have to come every day for Bible class. And the world is running today to look on someone else thinking. Like eating the pig's food, what the prodigal son ate. And who are the servants, the dolas, 
bring bond slaves to God the Father. What they do? They love to take in the word of the Lord our God very seriously every day. They love to consider the mind of Christ every day. Because they are slaves. If they say, Lord, thy will be done, not mine and never my will. It is only thy will be done, they say. And yet the people say today in the present Christendom, we love to go to pay our woes to the Queen of Heaven. We don't want to carry our cross, follow my Christ every day. We don't want to remove the log in my own eyes. We want to love to take the mote from the fellow men brethren. First, you hypocrite, cast out, he says, like the human excreta which you cast out every morning. Like that first to cast out the blog he says that means the burden of becoming a disciple program you have in you first come and complete that grow up as disciple that's what the word meant to say looking upon the time you have to be communicators but yet you require someone to put for you the basic fundamentals because these morons will never come to look what is the truth. These morons will love to teach you the sherats of day-to-day -day examples. These sherats of great men in the history. These sherats of X, Y, Z. Never they love to talk what the Bible says because they do not know what the Bible says in the original Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic. Never they will dare enough to come back and look. And if ever they dare enough to look, it takes time to study. But their time has been devoted to the details of life on this earth. Marrying, burying and not doing the only work for which you have been called to study and to teach the word of the Lord of a God and that's the duty for a pastor teacher but they don't want to learn in that and what a great pain it will be for us when we find these people coming not doing never willing to perform the will of God the Father to the highest And yet they say we shall go back and give and we are comfortable when we are giving cakes to the Queen of Heaven. How much does it prick my heart in pain? Because they want to look comfortableness on this earth rather than suffering through afflictions, rather than going through the persecutions, rather than looking that godly life or godliness begins with persecution. Why? Lord God the Father wants to examine you to show you favor. Lord God the Father wants to examine you to give you wisdom. Lord God the Father wants to make you to be the ruler. But you say, no Lord, we don't want to have any pain for us. We want to be comfortable. Do you know what is the pain? The pain is to carry you across every day and come to Bible class. But you say, no. When you say, no, Lord God the Father also knows how to say, no. When you put your great requirement before the law, you are already half dead, you are living as if you are living in the wilderness. Go back and cross check your life, where is peace for you? Doesn't the word say for us, there is no peace for the wicked? And you say you can have peace by joining this crowd, by looking that crowd, by following such a such idiotic moron who thinks he is having visions and dreams and he can explain to your future and futurity? You miss the mark with the Lord, you will find such kind of idiotic morons designed by Satan to lead you to lies. Who can tell you your fate? If you are not in accord with the word of the Lord of God, if you are not conforming to the word of the Lord of God, the word of the Lord of God itself says in Deuteronomy 27, you are cursed. And you want to go back and search the people who could show you your fate, your visions and your dreams, by his visions and dreams, and he can say for you, this is your life. Like the people who went to the Chaldeans astrology, like the people who go for numerology, the people who go for every mannerism of cult practices in this country, in and around the world as well, including Zoroastrianism, what they practice. And they say they want to look, and they say we will look. First come back and look what the word says in the original language of the scriptures. Here itself we will find your fate. And you want to say, Lord, I did so much for your church. I believe this pastor, I gave him so much of money. And why there is no peace for me? The reasons are simple. By giving money, you are not achieving anything. You are not aware about that as well. Why you have to give money? Do you think Lord God is interested to get, take sacrifices from you rather than giving you the or taking your life to be worth enough to learn the word of the Lord of God? Didn't we read that in Song of Solomon or Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse number 1 and 2? 
When you're approaching, be careful every step, he says, so that you shall not be like a fool's sacrifice, but rather make up your life to learn the word of the Lord of God. Fool's sacrifices are many today. And the people intend to ask, of course, these are the goats, we don't even love to mention their names. The so-called morons or retirees who are miscalculating your true spiritual life with the standards of persuasion of speech. What we call in Colossians 2.4 Paralagidzumai and Fitanlogia. These are the men. And they will lead you for the standards of the life to be fulfilled on this earth. They pursue you with such persuasive words so that they think they can easily give you the things pertaining to Bible doctrine. But the word of the Lord of God says, These are paralagidzomai and fitanlogians. These are not worthy. And these are goats thinking that they have made the people to come back to believe in Christ. And they're thinking that they have led so many people to believe in Christ. But if we could ask you one straight question to you, how many disciples you have? Not the disciples what you think you have to train, but those disciples whom you made, though have grown up to become grammatias, and they have in return become the witness in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in producing unbelievers to become in Christ, and they have become disciples. Because in fulfilling of the commission, Matthew 28, making disciples of all the nations. Aren't you goat? Have you ever become first disciple of the word? Are you think weekly one sermon to preach? We look some magazines, we look some XYZ trends in the messages of the world and we look so many people in the day-to-day -day circumstances. We go back and read some history and we love to fool, pull their minds, fool their minds in that history. But when it comes to the word of the Lord of a God, taking one word, doesn't the word say this? Even they are better preachers for you. Because some moral-minded men in unreligion people, they teach better good standards of morality than what you think you can edify them, saying that Bible never says anyone to make wrong. And this is what an idiotic moron was preaching yesterday. Why does the Bible say for anyone to become a sinner? And he wants to specify that. To the people who are listening, who do not know the importance of their life, who do not understand their call to become grammatias in Christ. And they call they will be shining forth in the kingdom of heaven. Eating the pig's food like the prodigal son. How many days you want to stay under such organizations? At least realize. The prodigal son realized. Teaching to the point for us, he realized the servants at least eat better food than this food what I am eating here. We have in Telugu one reference Bible which is so good and great. The whitewashing techniques of this world, they think they cannot learn so many references which is pure exegetical references. They have come back with many other versions in the Bible, like Thompson Chain Reference Bible, or some other things which are equivalent in Daniel's name, which do not even give you the content, including the Spiros Zodiathus, when we find such great words in that great Telugu Reference Bible in Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic exegesis. Even he couldn't meet the standards what we want to find in them. No one could say, for 2 Timothy 4 2, preach the word what they have to preach. In the Telugu reference Bible, you find Colossians chapter 4, verses 2 through 4. We have been obscuring such data today in our pulpits because people are interested to talk, because they are interested to be fed upon pigs' fodder. And these morons, when they say such kind of a things, and these people think because multitude of the people are coming, do you know what? The people will come multitude for them because they have been driven to become chaff rather than wheat. We are not interested how many people they are with us. Because to make disciples it takes tough of a time. If you have so many millions of people following you, 
they come for three days of meetings and you say you have spent so much of money for them and you love to gather money from them and you give them what for one hour of teaching which is nothing but sheer rat and these people we find they have not even read the bible because they are still eating the pig's food therefore they think what this man has given servant food is better than the pig's food but they do not know they are eating together both as a blind leading another blind to eat pig's food because this pig who is speaking over there in the terms pertaining to the servanthood of God he doesn't know the exegesis neither the importance of the original languages what Lord God the Holy Spirit communicated to us he is blind for that he is leading another blind who is eating pig's food both of them will end up in ditch tomorrow at the judgment seat of Christ. Both of them will be called as goats. Because the serious work of a PT to make disciples, it requires time. Apostle Paul would take his classes from morning 11 to evening 4 if needed to extend the time till evening 7 or 8. Minimum 5 to 8 hours a day. Today, how many people are interested to take such classes in our pulpits? They say, let them join to the theological colleges. What are they teaching to the theology? Share arts. No exegesis. They want to add up to you something which is no way concerned in the Bible. And they want to add up. They want to dilute. And you know what, dear brethren, these people will not change. Till there is a great wrath of the Lord of a God upon them. They will not change because they have been comforted in the cushions. They are making up armholes to rest. Because they fight for the belly and not for the work of the Lord God. In the name of the word of the Lord God, they are feeding their belly but not making you to become fattened enough like a voluptuous one to appear in the presence of Lord God the Father when we read in Psalm 63 verses 8 and 9. Now that voluptuousness or fatness will come for you only when you grow up in the word of the Lord of God. Without that you will never come. And these people aren't voluptuous because they are voluptuous in this world. But when they consider to the heaven, they will look at them. At the judgment seat of Christ, whether the words what I speak they stand or what they do they stand. Because Lord God the Father prescription is exegiomai. Christ our Lord our God goes one step ahead and he says it's no longer exegiomai for us because I came to reveal. But you think I came to reveal the Lord God. I came to hear not even to let go. One iota upon iota and carrera upon carrera. Exegesis we may forget that iota and carrera but he says even that I will not let go. Even a dot or a tittle I will not let go. And you do not understand the importance of those dots and titles which could change the meaning entirely. And he says, I want them also to be proper and correct. One step ahead, then exegesis. But the pulpits have fallen out. They have fallen out from the standards. A life that you are living, if it is not examined in the enlightenment of the scriptures of the word of the Lord of a God then that life is not worth living dear brethren therefore the people they have come to be fed upon the pig's food dust of the fodder one and therefore the people have been changed not to look any longer into such kind of a great Bibles what we have in the exegetical commentary because they don't want to have time even the TSK fails Treasure of scripture knowledge fails because we have over here proper great accuracy of the word of the Lord of a God in the Hebrew and Greek numbers being put together. And the people love to celebrate the great great volumes of exegesis quoting these references one to one what strong number has been given for them. And they want to sell for a huge money rather than giving it freely to the work of Lord God. And they have a very good notes for them as an author comments saying to the point this is what this is a good exegetical commentary you can purchase if you look at the cost it will be not less than in my indian currency for you to count in your dollars 20 to 25 dollars 
And that is a very hard payment for a man who is of a medial life on this earth. And therefore we should be sometimes thankful to the PDF driver as well. Where they have uploading many books. Though we may not get some of the volumes, but we are happy at least to read. Because when we finish reading this, we may get something. But we are not talking about the commentary, which is not of exegesis. But we are talking them in the original languages of the scriptures being recorded and kept for us. This dictionaries or some important points, which Lord God, the Holy Spirit, could lead us to download and look. And understand our life in Christ. So that those who are well off, even they are adding something to the evil of this world, we read in Zechariah 1.15. The well off being the client nation to my Christ, which is USA. Of course, they have done many great things in supplying and helping these poor people in my country, India, with the literature and books, particularly the ministry of Robert Bunker Time in Houston, Texas, who has given graciously his grace policy of finance. So that even we could know today, when we are having the right into fellowship with Lord God, when we desire that fellowship, there is no barriers geographically for us because it is the desire and intention of purity in your heart with true holiness to Christ to serve Him is going to give you that information and we have the best information free of cost given for us. And even we follow the same principle of my Christ, what my human mentor Robert Bunker Thime taught. And we don't want to look what the world looks to charge for money. But here you find in this Bible, this exegetical thoughts, precise thoughts. Even Spiros Zodiotus Bible cannot give you a reference for 2 Timothy 4.2, but you find that in the Telugu reference Bible, which has been originally compiled maybe by William Carey or the group of the men who might have come through Dartmouth, Harvard and Yale University being put together. You find beautiful notes over there. Now that's what categories will explain for us. To enlighten you to the work of Lord God, to teach you to the work of Lord God. But you don't want to eat that solid food, we know, because you yourself don't have grown up teeth to eat such solid food. You want to skim them in your smeared milk. And that milk training them up to get out of sins yet not able to realize in first peter 2 2 when we have been born in christ we are out from such sin long back we cannot be in those standards of sin any longer and you know what the christendom has been run by such kind of a morons who call themselves to be shepherds having done this biblical studies in such and such specialization they say we shall speak only for 15 minutes 20 minutes 25 minutes to the church and that's enough we shall reserve this message for the next time because the people are not able to understand they are not capable of taking this and you know why those people are not capable because you are not being driven by the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit when Christ our Lord of God was teaching in Mark 6, 34 and 35, we read, The time was far, far spent. The disciples come and tell, Lord, it is almost all evening, then one of the miracles to feed so many people. Because the way how he was teaching them many things, he looked unto them as a shepherd they were, as the sheep without a shepherd they were. So he was being moved with compassion to teach them many things. Pola, 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 march. It takes time to teach. And that's the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. Even we look in Acts chapter 20, a man who fallen from Eutychus, or Acts chapter 20 or 18, we looked that in the passages. And then he said, don't worry, he's sleeping. He has not been dead. And he wakes him up because the discourse went on for a long time. And today, the people are interested in being shepherds themselves. 15 minutes is enough, 20 minutes is enough, what you're feeding them. You want to feed them your own urine and excreta to impress them with your human standards of thoughts. You want to destroy my Lord's flock. This is not a story in my country, India, it's a story in and around the world where there is no exegesis for the word of truth. And yet you want to look being pride enough in this earth, exulting in your spirit to think you are really great. 
But the time comes, dear brethren, when we will stand in the judgment seat of Christ. For the grace that has been bestowed upon us, if we haven't done that which is right and perfect in the sight of Lord God, and if you don't examine yourself every day to look whether you're eating pig's food like the prodigal son or you're eating strong meat for the word of the Lord our God, even you are inexcusable. The word we read in Jeremiah 44, 27, Behold me, I am alert, I am sleepless, I am watching over them for evil, ra'ah, and not for good. This is what he says in Jeremiah 44, 27, The people who rejected the bright prescription of Bible doctrine, Lord God is sleepless. We use that in anthropomorphism, in the standards of anthropopathism. So that our idiotic brains can understand that Lord God the Father, we cannot attach any emotion to Him. But we find over here to teach that He is sleepless. The character, what we can go through and we can learn what, hap what happens to a man and why He is sleepless. The reasons are something which He has desired has not come to a result, so He is sleepless. The same thing we find in Second Timothy as well, or First Timothy as well. In Philippians 2, we compare that with First and uh, Second Corinthians. That Paul was waiting for his dear beloved son Timothy so that he could get back. And when he came from Macedonia, I had rust in my spirit, he says. Because he says, There is not a one like him who could be sensitive for the works of Christ, who could be with the same mind, who could be with the same accord, who could think in the standards of the word of truth. He teaches to them very specifically, dear brethren. These words are much needed for us to record and keep. Because he says, I am not able to find like-minded men for me in the work of my Christ. What a pain it will be for us to look. Because men are liking and looking, they are enduring because they want to inquire and endure in the standards of their own life, not the things of Christ any longer. Isn't it a shame for us? And therefore he says, I am sleepless. The word, I will watch over them. The word in the Hebrew, it meant to say for us, shakad. Shakad meant to say to be sleepless, to be alert. It has many meanings for that. We are taking in the context for us in sleepless. And is watching over you for what? For evil. That's what the way how when... Satan was being given permission to talk about Job. He said, you cannot hold his life, but everything I give unto you. And Satan watched with such kind of an anger, the way from this end, from that end, from all the four corners of these people, they come and say, such and such has happened, such and such has happened, such and such has happened. And yet to what Job said, naked I came, naked I go. There is nothing I can take back to the place where I come from, except the integrity of Lord God to be praised. And he appreciates Lord God for the reason he has given now him a chance to enter into such afflictions or sufferings. But today you get any sufferings, you say, Lord, what mistake I did. Why can't you take it that Lord God is enduring you, provided you are inquiring for the word of Christ? Doesn't he say for us in Psalms 119.23, Even the princes sat together to discuss about me. I never worried about them. I went along to meditate upon the word of the Lord of our God, put forth my thoughts according to the prescription of Bible doctrine. That's it. Because the angel of Jehovah surrounds around me like a circuit. Those who truly fear Lord God, 3373 code, not 3372. And what does he do them? He is going to deliver them for the battle of Lord. He is going to equip them for the war of Christ. That's what the word Hebrew says for us. It's not for salvation there, he says, for your equipment for the work of Christ. The same thing over here we read. If he watches over us for evil and not for good, then your finishing or your end will be from every way. He says, the men of Judah, even in the land of Egypt, are it is in your inner soul. First, your soul and spirit gets absolutely destroyed, not able to look what to do in the fellowship of God because you have already destroyed your thinking. You want to go back and give to the Queen of Heaven. You sinned against Lord God not to listen to the voice of Lord God, he says. You have sinned against not to look what is the law. You have sinned against the commandments of Bible doctrine, which is nothing but the choke requirements, and you sinned against the testimonies of Lord God. Therefore, he says, in each and every nick and corner you sin. Therefore, your land will be like the way in sword in famine until I have been completely consumed you 
And then he says, Yet a small number that escaped the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt. Those are true godly fearing. Into the land of Judah. And all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt. To sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, said the Lord God, that I will punish you in this place, that you may know that my word shall surely stand against you for evil. And thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will give for of a king of Egypt into the hand of his enemies and to the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zadokia king of Judah into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life, the further punishment upon the people of the Egypt. But here he says, My words will stand or theirs. In the same way he says that, my word, if ever it stands, it is standing purely for you, not for good, but for evil. Because the way how they rebelled, the way how they rejected, what are the right prescriptions of Bible doctrine, and they went along to feed themselves, not and never to become grammatias, but rather they have come into such kind of a moron, stupid life. And this is what the church age is becoming to as well. The way how they are leading today by eating to be fed upon the pig's fodder, not and never to look upon the divine word of the Lord of our God. And that's what it is, dear brethren. When the prodigal son, or the one who has been out of the fellowship of the father, when he came back to his senses, he's talking to us that there are better things for me in my father's home because my father's servants at least they ate something good but here i am eating something which is absolutely not worth therefore dear brethren you need to come back to look what is the real word of the lord of a god and that's what he says the husks that the swine did eat not the fodder but the husks is nothing but karatian it is nothing but a little horn the fruit which was shaped like a horn, which has a sweet taste, it was used not only for fattening swine, but as an article of food by the lower classes. Therefore, we look the cheaper food what you are taking. Therefore, dear brethren, which meant to say it is the class of food which has been given even for the lower classes, the husks. And that's what he ate, the husks of the wine, swine, and they went along to do the works of swine. Today as well in the present Christendom, people are happy to look the husks of swine rather than looking the things of the word of the Lord of a God. If they would come back to analyze and exegete the great word of truth, they would be great men for Christ. But we know very well, they do not know what are the prescriptions of Bible doctrine. If not, everyone would run as a pastor teacher and they would train you to become disciples, 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 joining as disciples, growing up as grammatias and doing the great will of God the Father. This is what the word of the Lord of a God is all about. If you don't come back to look the things pertaining to Bible doctrine, Doctrine, then how you would be the people where with Lord God the Father's name shall be glorified and beautified. And the Lord says, My name shall not be ashamed. This people I have given them much, expecting much, yet they are the people who haven't kept my word. Though he has prayed for us that these are the people that have kept thy word. And the things pertaining to for us, the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit, when it convicts us, aglankos us of our faults, better humble ourselves rather than looking to give fake and silly reasons because these people love to give reasons they don't want to look upon humility they want to become proud and pride that is what faces of you will be fractured because of your haughtiness and that's what it is today many people including their wives their wives love to talk not to accept the fault but rather they love to give reasons that's what it is, pride. When Lord God, the Holy Spirit, convicts you to look, not to eat the husks of the swine, but rather go back and read and learn. That is what under the right bona fide gift of the pastor teacher, at least to go back and get such kind of a great exegetical Bibles. That's what the word could be for the Bible, what we will be launching shortly. Taken from the strong code numbers into the same reference what we have been talking previously, the Telugu reference Bible, and that will be a great help for the English speaking men wherewith we have been we have been ready to launch it, but it is taking some time because of some financial issues. But we shall look into that as Lord God the Father knows very well how to take it, because some things wherewith we know very well it takes 
time provided we find some of the people who could graciously donate but it is the will of god the father because we know very well we have to do the work it is his will to carry it out we are not worried to ask anyone money as well because the work of lord god the father to those who give to lord god they're giving to the work of him to build his kingdom not to build the belly of the pastor not to build his well awareness not to make him to be happy to say i've been content roaming so many countries i have so many things i have so many things just throw that stuff naked you came naked you go do the work of the lord of a god in fact he did 60 percent of the income which william carey earned he gave to the missionary work today how many pastors are doing that we are not worried what they do. They are answerable to Lord God in the name of God, what they earn. But one thing we are worried, how many disciples you have made? How many people are growing up as grammatias? How many people are really ready to do the work of Lord God the Father? And how many people are really been prepared so that you can conceal them and keep back as a shaft useful for the master's work? Dear brethren, you need to think over these issues. Do not waste your time. Actually, we wanted to look upon grammatias, but we couldn't find time as we shall come back tomorrow, serving in the same spirit of Lord God the Father, in the following of Lord God. We shall continue the same standards of what the Lord God wants us to learn and to teach, not to be as the one who came to be served, but he came to serve you. That's what we are. We have come to serve you and not to be served because we are having our payment from our master in the heaven. So that Apostle Paul says, In nothing I shall be having to be ashamed before the presence of God the Father. In nothing I shall be ashamed to boast. Therefore, I am giving it freely and graciously, he said. We also follow the same principle because in nothing the word of the Lord of our God, the name of him shall be debased, but rather we have to honor him with the power given to us in this true spiritual life, in the peace given to us, so that even our enemy knows very well it cannot come to touch us but rather we have been given the power to trample satan under the feet and great peace to them those who follow according to this rule he says in galatians 4 galatians 6 in 14 and 15 and there is no other rule for you to be revealed apart from carrying your cross every day following my christ even in romans 16 17 and that's what we have we have a set of rules for us to become disciples growing up as grammatias and return making disciples and that's the prescription of lord god if you don't do that you will not find peace and joy what lord god the father says for us farewell be perfect be in one mind be according to the calling of lord god again the word perfect is katarizo which is called for the perfection of growing up as mature believer in the lord and not telelios and furthermore he says be in one mind in one thinking in one accord and do the will of god the father then you will live in peace if not you will not enjoy what is that peace given for us because you are walking as an alien you're using the grace of the lord of a god and you're using it for your life that's as simple as that the hosea wife it was being sustained for the things pertaining to lord's glory but they went along to commit spiritual adultery in the same way today we have been called to be under one master to be as chaste virgin as supposed to him but we are using his grace and enjoying our details of life and we are using that grace in vain not for the glory of lord so be alert about that dear brethren if your wife takes your pleasures all the things of your money and the provision providence but if she's having a pleasure a sexual pleasure with other men how it would pain you so it is in the church age why Lord God becomes an enemy why is he sleepless not to give you that peace but he's an alert upon your path so that he wants to consume you because you're having your pleasure not giving that which is due to him by not giving that which is work to him to be holy and blameless but rather you're enjoying your life on this earth becoming blameless and you're becoming in the terms of sin therefore his anger upon you and he's going to take vengeance upon you because enough is given for us and enough is expected from us but yet like a thundering bolt like a lightning fire is going to take revenge upon you because you haven't been obedient for him on this earth dear brethren think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow as lord god the holy spirit could lead us to the praise of his glory to the work on this earth with our head bowed and eyes closed the closing moments being dedicated to those who are without christ without hope and without eternal life in order to to lord god the father that you believe upon my christ my lord my rock my savior that is the moment itself you shall have this eternal truth this eternal truth for us for very simple believing christ you shall be saved whereas for the believer the greatest to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine, wherewith you shall learn to acquire the possession of the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the greatest martyr is to carry us on Lagan. Herald the word in season, not of season, because the Dharmatrum of Witnesses, where it have been called. The number one Dharmatrum of Witnesses in Wellingtonity, followed by Babylon in our hands. And number two Dharmatrum of Witnesses, our hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brethren, do not worry besides nature. The entire angelic host will be witnesses. And what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of truth, no matter however the chips may fall. So, which way you want to go, dear brethren, you decide as we shall come back and continue. 
is new tomorrow. Infinitely divine, Holy Father, what a great and unique privilege it is for us, O Lord, to learn thy truth, for the great work which have made me to be over here to learn thy truth, Father. It is not the way how these people have to be fed with the husks of swine, but rather, Lord, they have to know the truth, the truth in exegesis. Help us, Father, to establish these standards once again back in your pulpit. It is not by us, O Lord, but thy will, but thy will be done according to thy work, working in the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, operating in us to the praise of your glory, so that we could come back once again with the great exegetical thoughts of Bible in categorical exegesis, so that, Lord, we could establish every believer to become perfect, and we could be counted as sheep and not as goats. See, if there is an offensive way, search us diligently, Father, in us, so that, Father, lead us according to thy truth, and use us only for thy glory, and nothing else on this earth. In Christ's matchless, purest, gracious name, we pray, Father, may Lord God, the Holy Spirit, could enlighten and challenge us by this message. Amen.